Okay, for those who follow me via my Kev's Workshop website, there's a set of bogies I've been building since 2012, on and off, bit by bit. They're just about ready for putting under a wagon. Now if I bring the under here, try and get the shadow out of the way here. That's roughly the profile of the bogey. If you look at it from the end, and above, you can see they've got all the suspension inside. There's, there's the other bogey over here. Uh, I've just been test rolling them on the uh, track today. Uh, they are actually um, rail car bogies, and they're longer than our standard bogey, which is about, about a one foot wheelbase. There's about a foot and a half wheelbase, or almost. So yeah, these are designed to take the most undulating a track. And okay, I got Michelle in the way here. Although it's not necessarily visible that easily. Uh, so I sort of see there's a bit of a twist in it. So yeah, the idea is that each bogey frame can twist up and down as it needs to. So they can both go into the tracks this way or take the unevenness. Be totally flexible at high speeds. There you go. Okay, in the second part of the same video, I've uh, got to rip the weed out. You can sort of see the part these pair of bogies apart. If I place my body weight on one set of uh, wheels and pull on the other, you can sort of see how much twist I can get into this. So that should take the most undulating of tracks. And they're so free rolling. It should make for a nice smooth ride. The only thing I've got to do with these bogies now, I've got a little stabiliser ro rollers I've got to set up here. And some angle steel, once they're in, I've, I can look at putting brakes on the insides here, pushing out, or on the outsides pushing in, or look at putting disc brakes down the middle of it. So, apart from Pardon, the um, stabilizers being put in. There's very little to do to these now, and they can go for test runs.